do what you got to do and come back. Like, it's just that simple. And I end up finding myself like, yo, I, I drive tired more now than I did. And it's going to be a big statement. So let me back off. a little bit. I will drive tired now more than I did when I was hot boy in OTR. I said it. Yeah, I, 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 does anybody, can anybody, um, where you're gone? Can anybody understand what I'm saying? I drive tired now more than I did when I was a hot boy OTR. Because if something was to take too much of my time, I could, I could get it back. With the autonomy of my clock. So I may go in early and pick something up when I'm dog tired on some weird shit. Yeah. Woo -woo. But the, 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 the load may be loose where I can say I'm going to pick it up, drive it to 12, and I'm going to just get some rest, go to bed, wake up the next day, seven, do what I got to do. I cannot do that. Local. Local. It's just that first time is hard. It's just you got to be here. But they held me up. Yeah, doesn't matter. It does not matter. And I'm just like, how is this good? How are people saying that this is better than running OT? I'm confused. I don't see how this is better. I'm, 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 I'm struggling with myself saying, uh, I don't like this shit. Does anybody understand what I'm saying? How I felt what I felt. Thank you, Vaughn, unless you have an old head position. Because they got the gravy routes. I mean, just being at eight, leave at four type shit. They're not, you know, I get that they're, you know, they're old heads and stuff, but I'm just thinking to myself, I could just run a regional semi OTR -E job because, you know, there's jobs out there that's technically not OTR, but it is. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's technically OTR. They'll say you're regional, you go to these 10 states, but sometimes you poke out, sometimes you don't, and you can still be out for two weeks at a time. I feel like that suits me better. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. You hear me? That suits me better. Another thing, too. OTR, I get down the road, I get to the place, I tell them, listen, here's your load, bitch. Take it. And they take it. Local, if one of these places feels like they're shorthanded, they have the unmitigated gall and audacity to walk up to my door, do, 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 do. Hey, we're going to need you to help us with this. No, you're not. No, no, you're not. Hey, well, it's kind of in your contract that y'all do need to help us sometimes. You know, really, you're supposed to be helping every time. I said, let me stop you right there, bro. I'm not doing none of that shit. Forget about it. <laughs> it's not going to happen, doggy. It's not going to happen. Well, you're supposed to. Supposed is a strong word. Have to is a strong to. Got to is a strong word. I don't have to do anything but what the good law down the county tells me what I got to do. That is stay black. And die. Those are the only two things I got to do and pay taxes. Everything else is optional. And I'm telling you, I'm not going out there to help you shovel a whole goddamn thing. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't know what, what, what they told you about the Ruby Bird, but I don't do that. No, I'm too, first of all, I'm too fucking pretty. That's one. Number two, why? I don't, I don't, boy, you smoking drugs. You want me to do what now? Oh, well, you know, help a shovel. Shovel? Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> Honestly. I do get away from my truck, bro. Yo, well, we'll have to tell the people. I, if I give a shit, I quit this motherfucker, nigga. What you saying? I'm a real running nigga, bro. Like, I'll just leave. Bye. 
And and the customers have so much sway over your little local company that they'll call you. Hey man, they're saying, I said, looky here, Billa. Look here, Kyle. Look here, Kristen, Hunter, Bryce. Listen, Bryce. It'll never happen. Forget about it. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So listen, I can bring you the truck back, fuck nigga. I can do that. I can bring you the truck back if you do you want me to bring the truck to you? But I don't do that. No, no. Ain't no knocking on my door as me do a motherfucking thing. I don't do that. I drive trucks. I run the road. That's it. I don't get out and shoveling. You understand? I'm running the farm. Hopper. You don't know what they asking you to shovel. It could be fish butt, chicken butt. Nah, and I don't do that. I open the hatch. The hatch falls down. Forget about it. It's over. There is nothing else we're supposed to be talking about. Your belt being caught and spilling all over the place. Not my fucking problem. I'm sorry. Am I a dick? Probably. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? I can't help you. I can't help you. I got precipitation in my knee, my shoulder bad. I got a twitch in my right eye. I can't do it. Driver manager calls me. The director calls me. And then the sales guy calls me. And I tell them all, it'll never happen. I'm not going to do it. I don't do that. I don't, I don't shovel shit. And basically what the dude wanted me to do, he wanted me to come around the side and up there in the tuck where the belt's messing up and it all piled up, he wanted me to shovel it onto the working belt. No. No. No, I don't do that. Couple of reasons. That's a confined space. That's a confined space. I am not certified to be in a confined space. See, I am technically because I've been, you know, different places, but... Peep game. I haven't been certified to be in a confined space since 2007. I, I'm not going down in there. It would help us out. I don't care. That's the bad part. Never would I have been asked to do that a, a long distance. It had never been thought. When you get to those long distance places, they just handle it. You're dropping the load. They handle it. For some reason, these people, when you go to these places, feel like, oh, well, you just drive. You should pitch in. No, that is nowhere in my contract says I should be pitching in. And that's the second time y'all done did that. That's two. And I told you, I said, listen, listen to me. Are you listening clearly? Yeah, that's two. And when I told you when I first got hired, I'm going to give you three strikes. And I suggest you give me three strikes. That's two. That's two. That's two. What local have I been in, bro? Well, listen, when you mess with, here's a problem. And I'm going to say something that's going to piss people off. LLCs suck ass. They're the most making up a policy on the spot to get you to do something bullshit. Nothing's written down. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't ask company you can work for. Corps are a little bit more. This is what it is. But LLCs, they'll just finagle you around. Oh, hey, just kind of do this this one time. No, I don't do that. No, not at all. Because most of them believe that all you do is drive. So what are you complaining about? But see, my problem is all you do is sit at the desk. So what are you complaining about? Now, if I signed up for it, I would do it, but I didn't. I didn't sign up for that. I'm not a fucking laborer, bro. It's not going to happen. And that's the portion of labor that most of these guys get up on here and lie about. Local jobs want you to do labor. They want you to move shit around the warehouse or as Estes put it, dock work. They want you to do dock work. They want you to do forklift work. They want you to fill up drums. They want you to do, do all type of shit. Oh, we don't have no routes. So just help around the warehouse type shit. Negative. Absolutely, bro. No, absolutely not. And that's the thing. These local guys come up here and they say, oh, well, you know, oh, 
I got a local job and this woody woody. They don't be telling you all the shit these dudes is doing. These guys are not telling you what they're doing. They're just saying, I got a local job. I make this much. That's it. And you're thinking, oh man, that sounds great. That sounds great. But then when you get, if you, if you look at these ads, they do other shit, bro. They do other stuff. They do other stuff. They don't just drive the truck, bro. They don't just drive the truck. Now, some companies, even if they do just drive the truck or, or let's say we look at hazmat dudes, you know, if the, it depends because all, all hazmat jobs are not created equal. You got, if you're going for a hazmat job and you're looking not to do much, you must be talking about some gravity dump shit where you're just going to gravity dump some stuff. You fill it up, you pop the top, gravity dump, everything's good. And then you got companies where you're really not a truck driver. You're a warehouse dude that can drive a truck. You got to know the difference. Are you following me? I'll wait because I don't think you're following me. I'll wait. Only four hit the cash app. You're not following me. Some jobs you drive trucks, and some jobs you're some jobs you're a truck driver, and some jobs you are a warehouse worker that can drive a truck. You understand? You understand? Some jobs you come in. You, you fill, you get your tank, you take it and you drop it. You do that four or five turns, you go home, go to bed. Some jobs you come in, they want you to find everything you need in the warehouse, cart it around, load your truck, fill the drums, do this, package it up on the spinner thing. They put it on and then spin it and laminate it, put it on there, do all that shit, load it. And then when you get to the place, they want you to unload it. And then when you get back and there's no more routes, they want you to do busy work around the warehouse. Absolutely not. Look at, look at Sammy. I'm not making this shit up. I'd rather be hands on for 100K than get fat and bump a dock all day for 100K. All right. That's your option. Okay. Slave it out, Pippin. I'm just saying, like I said, this is about me. It's not about y'all. I ain't willing to do that shit. I don't, I don't do labor because it's just, I'm just not going to do it. I don't, I don't do no labor. I'm not picking shit up. I'm not packaging nothing. I'm not doing none of that. And that's something that is where your head is. I cannot disagree with you. Just telling you they can never get me to do that shit. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. My thing is being gone ain't that bad for me to be in here being some house bitch. I said it. That's what you are. Do this, do that. This new every time you come back. If they run out of work now, you run with you sweeping. You gonna sweep the flow, nigga. <laughs> you sweeping flows? Nah. You sweeping flows and cleaning bathrooms? That's what you're doing? I don't do that. I don't do it. And it's like, I said it from jump, but as the more you be around, the more they try to slide it in. Requires you to do labor work. Stay away from them. Anybody for local. Mm, center line drivers. Hey, when they slows, they have us sweeping the warehouse. Nigga, it'll never happen. I ain't sweeping the warehouse, big boy. Nah. You ready to sweep? Get on, Lisa. Get on over there and sweep that whole area over there. Dump all the trash out of there and clean the woman's bathroom. Get that done.
And to me, it ain't going to happen. You're telling me I could go have my freedom or sit here and not have my freedom. Hmm. Because on the road, there's things we're supposed to do, and then there's things they can make us do. Right? That's what I'm saying. You can say, go do ABC, but I'm on a road, man. I'm managing myself for real. I do what I want to do. You know, get here, do this. There's times I went and picked up loads for flatbed that's sitting in the ground in mud, half rusted, and Prime says, tarp it. And I've said, not going to happen. So I call the people. I tell them, look, uh, do you need this tarped? No, it's going outside anyway. And it's not, tar- I don't tarp it. I just take it. That's what I mean by you're managing yourself. No one's watching. But when local, they're watching, bro. They're watching, man. They're watching every move you make. Not to mention the snitches. No one, since everybody's too busy dick riding local, nobody's discussing the snitches. I'll let that soak. The snitches. Nobody discusses the snitches that are around the yard. Mm hmm. No one discusses those. They just say, oh, I make this much money, everything's great. No one discussed that cigarette smoking guy who just sits at the yard and watches to see if you drove in right or hit the line or went too fast, backed up too quick, you're too close to that trailer. No one talks about that guy. The whistleblowers. Yeah. No one discusses the whistleblowers, and they're everywhere. I'm, let me tell you something. Local, they're everywhere. There's a place that they like us to fuel down the route, down the road. And I say, okay, I'll fuel there. I'll fuel there. i fuel there. And then... There's another place that got good food that's like a mile up the road and to the right. So I fuel, don't eat there. I go up there to take my 30-minute 30, 30 break. Now, when you're at these back road places, I didn't, I didn't even know about that, uh, uh, Dirty Broke. But I'm sitting here, and this is one of them places that nobody comes to, so you can kind of do your 30-minute in the, in the lane because no one comes to this place. It's like a mom and pop joint. So I park there, go inside, get my little food. It's about my time of the day to eat. So I do that. By the time I'm finished eating my food, I see you, Demarcus. Top of the kids, yeah. By the time I finish eating my food, I'm getting called. It's like, what the fuck going on? Sean what's going on oh uh, and this is how this is the tone he takes did you not remember where we where we fuel at I said hold on let me stop what I'm doing because I want to hear you clearly so I can gauge how I'm supposed to react to you so I'll say go ahead say it again what happened now did you not remember where we're supposed to fuel at? Wow. Dublius. Is that right? Okay. 
I said, all right. I said, I remember. Then why are you parked at such and such and such? We don't fuel there. Hmm. I said, did you check the fuel card before you called me? What do I need to check? That? Did you check the fuel card before you called me accusing me of something that a driver called you about with me? Did you check the fuel card? I didn't check the fuel. Well, if you did check the fuel car, Bryce, Kyle, Hunter. <sighs> back off because I almost went off on him right there. I almost went off again. Let me back off. Chad, if you check the fuel car, you know that I did not fuel here. Where does the fuel card say I fueled, Chad? Well, I don't have access to that. Then why are you calling me if you do not have access to the facts of what's going on? Oh, there's no reason to get attitude. I said it's a perfect reason to get attitude. It's a perfect reason to quit. Why are we talking about quitting? Because you're calling me about stupid shit. So let me guess. One of you good old boys drove past me and seen me up here having my lunch in peace with Jesus. And he called you and said, oh, that new guy, old blur. he's a blur. He, 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 he's fueling that up. He's he fueling a blur. That's what he did, didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, they're saying you're over there. You know, we just don't like. Look, I don't need to know the policy of why you don't like to know here. Just know I didn't fuel here. You're calling me when someone is wrong. I have the fuel receipt. Do you want me to read the address to you? No, you don't. But you'll take one of those white boys words all the way to the freaking bank and say, oh, yeah, look at this. Look at the dirty slave Negro. Look what he's doing. It's not about race. I said, Chad, it is, though. That's the thing. (laughs) It is because you're calling me and you assumed I was guilty. Ain't that a bitch? If it was if I was a Joey. You would have been like, oh, my God, you'd have checked the ticket first. You wouldn't have assumed my guilt. The fuck off my phone. Don't worry. We'll discuss it with the manager when I get back to the yard. I got to go. Finish the route out. And, of course, you have the cleaner uppers. This is what happens when you're local. These guys do stupid shit. And then there's a nice person that cleans up the stupid, ignorant, rude shit that they do to you. Her name's usually Ashley or Kathy or Chiron, Maggie, Becky, Brittany. It's usually one of them knees. And they come up to you and they say, oh, you know, sometimes we got to check if these guys, they do call. You know, they do kind of tell a little bit, but, you know, it's okay. No, it's not, though, Brittany. It isn't okay. And I ask Simple questions. I have simple questions. How many other people was called on today? Well, I don't know that. It's okay, Becky. I know. No one. No one else was called. I mean, I'm the only black guy in the company. So I assumed it's because of that. I mean, what else could it be? I'm an American. You're an American. I got a CDL. You got a CDL. I've been driving 10 years. You've been driving 10 years. So what the fuck else is it, Brittany? Tell me. You, you don't know what it is, but Brittany, you can tell me it's not because I'm a nigger. Stop. Stop. So you're telling me in this nobody else nigger fucking job that after he drove all these 500 miles, he only seen my truck and only thought to call on me when you, when you got white boys crashing all day, turning trucks over and shit. The only one they're worrying about calling on is the truck that ain't been turned over. Ain't that a bitch? Wow. We never have a racism conversation about trucking because black people are such piece of shit coons that they're scared white people aren't going to like them if we have that conversation. They're going to think I'm racist. I don't give a fuck. Let them think. It doesn't matter to me. It is what it is. <laughs> you leave me like, I don't give a fuck. They don't like my nigga ass anyway. So it is what it is. We don't talk about the 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 the, the 
snitch on the black guy bullshit that goes on in trucking. We don't talk about that shit because y'all so busy trying to suck up to them niggas, bro. Especially you company niggas. You, you know, I'm not talking about like uh, you just work at a company. I mean, like you're a company man. You dudes, the worst. Cooning at a high level. But let me tell you, these some bitches will snitch on your nigga ass, bro. Oh my god, for anything. It's like they believe that you as a black driver, they're supposed to police you. Everything you do, bro. Everything you do, they're policing you as drivers. They're next to you. Did he put a land together right? He ain't backing that down at two pot curve. He didn't check his so and so. They're just all oh, they're hovering around you trying to control your every fucking move. And I'm just extra ignorant to them. I don't give a fuck. It what it is. Right when they say, right when they come up to my truck, and I, I've done this seven times at this place. Right when they come up to my truck. Right when they come up to no, because when black people are in charge, it's worse. But that's an irrelevant point, Trill. You, you, you do that a lot. But they come up to my freaking truck and they say, did you do A, B, C, D, F, G? And I say, did you fuck off? Did you fuck off? Did you fuck off? Then it's like, wow. No, well, you don't like me anyway. And I've driven in, I come from a mostly black area. I've driven with blacks. And yes, the snitching is way worse when you're in a white area. Way worse. It's way worse. Usually when you round niggas, they trying to tell you how to get away with shit. And you got to tell them, nah, I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I don't, I don't drive illegal. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. But as usual, when I say something, I'm making it up. Because I'm willing to say it out loud. Y'all too pussy to say it out loud. That's the difference. Welcome. Welcome to the Trucker Brown channel. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy you're here on Rumble. And I have to give a personal shout out to all the people who did hit the cash app. They do get to suggest what type of content comes out. Um, This next topic that's coming is coming from Roadrunner. He is a new... Uh, person to on the uh, on the uh, on the um, Patreon. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm trying to do this and that, and and the work's getting up to me and all that type of stuff. But I'm back here for y'all. We're gonna be here to burn mouths. Thank you to every single person who hits the cash app and thinks of I want to support this channel. So they're just a looky lose. That's why I don't talk to you on there. When you hit the cash app, those people I'm going to make sure I speak to when I see in the chat. Those are the people that are going to make sure that I talk back to when they have a concern or something like that. All the people that are in the Patreon, they get first look at everything that's going on. So the two people that really, really help people out and help out the actual channel. I appreciate you. Don't do drugs. It's Trucker Brown. Go to the Patreon now and sign up.